Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Metroid, I swear it's a nice game too. That's the full title. Once again, Metroid, I swear it's a nice game too. This is the second game by the same developer that I uh, before um, reviewed. Uh, it's a connection between Metroidvania, uh, just normal uh, logical puzzle platformer, which most Metroidvanias are anyway. It has basic upgrade system and a gallery with some anime girls, uh, which is basically, well, I'm not sure if it's porn, it's not, I don't think, uh, besides it's censored, so just a couple of sexy pictures, right, not very high quality. I'm gonna show you a couple of them in the a less intrusive form. Let me just check the recording because the game is just really annoying in that matter. Uh, I will try to now uh, go down with sound completely. Uh, let's go with uh, options. Yeah, sound can only be on and off, so I have to go off. Uh, dialogues, yes, uh, maybe off this time. Keyboard, I'm not gonna touch it because we'll have a guide anyway. Let's see languages. Uh, Russian and English, okay. Full screen, no, because I need to control the recording. Uh, the problem with uh, some games is that my. Um, program, which is OBS, doesn't see uh, some games. It shows me just um, black screen. So I have always problems. Uh, maybe we'll start with the gallery. I'm gonna check the recording again. Right, let's see if it's showing. Yeah, it's showing correctly, I hope. So, uh, you have three levels of the same picture and uh, it goes from uh, less naughty to more naughty. So I'm gonna unlock one less naughty. Right, so this is the less naughty one, and then it gets more naughty with less clothing, and at the end it's kind of naked but uh, with sensor. Uh, so that's how, that's what you get roughly, like pictures like these. Right, this is very very soft, slightly erotic, and then it gets more erotic if you buy more levels. So you have those uh, all those pictures to unlock here. So there is some point to replay or play the game more just to beat uh, more levels to unlock everything. Uh, I'm gonna show you maybe the new save, just the new game and we'll go through uh, two or three levels maybe uh, with um, just tutorial. So we start with uh, difficulty level, I would go with Acolyte which is just uh, more HP I guess and we have life steal so it's easier. Right. And then we go with this L to jump, right? So move around like this. Let me just check again. Yeah, it's okay. Right, so we can jump. There is no sound, but I just decided to cut it completely. So, so far you have one move only. Yes, you can wall jump, which is quite typical. And that's a level. That's a whole, whole level. After that, you could theoretically go back and do the same, just to grind, but you would have to delete the save, or do it on three saves or something. And this way you can just unlock the uh, gallery if you're interested in that. I'm not sure if the game has achievements, but just if you're interested, you can do it. You can shoot, of course, you can also slash, something like this. Also, there is a couple of more advanced moves. I mean, we will go through uh, like five or four levels. Just to show you, the game is very smooth, I must say. For a very budget uh, Metroidvania, this is actually very responsive. Kind of like Usurper, something like that. Uh, very basic uh, graphically. Uh, well, maybe not very basic, but it's kind of pixel art. Uh, it's kind of budget, I would say. But it's very fast and responsive. So it could be playable if you like Metroidvanias. Of course, Usurper, which is like a very, very cheap game which I played recently, uh, it was much more complex, it had much better uh, interactions with, between your character and the gear you get and all the stats you can get and spells, so that was much more advanced. This is very basic in terms of a couple of moves only, it's still sl slightly more than what you could expect. You could expect just to be, you know, jumping and slashing, it's actually a little bit more than that, there's a couple of... Um, more advanced mechanics in terms of puzzles, but also with your character, right? So you can do those basic moves, uh, jumping, um, I think we can, is it? no, it's not double tap. It was something more, like a charge? I'm not sure. There was a couple of those uh, moves. I, uh, I went to some, well, 
some more levels generally when I was testing. I kind of played the first game as well, so I kind of know what it is. Right. Uh, it's down in L, right? So you can slide like this. It's kind of annoying that you can just crouch and move. You have to slide, but okay. So just one more move to move around. And of course, another wall jump here. You can also jump at the enemy, uh, but you have to do it like uh, some button combo, which I forgot. And then you can kind of bounce off the enemy. Yeah, I died. That's okay. I, I'm not sure if you get the same amount of points or you lose them. Okay, let's just slash him. That was down L. I think it was jump. I for, I'm forgetting the buttons. It was jump and then down. Yeah, I think it was that. I'm not sure if I can do it again. Yeah, you can jump down at the enemy. Kind of like Mario Bros. And you can do this, right? And bounce off them. So you can do advanced moves like that. But of course it kills me. So I will just probably run around and do the typical slushy slushy. I think we preserved the points which I got. So we can kind of screw up and still got points. Uh, there's also upgrades which cost like 5000. So you will probably have to grind. I'm not sure how exactly it works. Uh, if you are just replaying on different characters, do you just get all the uh, points so then you can level up one character fully? Because it seems that this currency is uh, for all your characters and for the gallery. But I'm not entirely sure about it. it. Seems to be like that. For some reason you can have a couple uh, of saves probably so that you can grind. I'm not sure if that was the idea of the developer but uh, you definitely can grind to get uh, the gallery. I'm not sure how it works with progression. Maybe it's the same. Maybe you can just keep grinding and get uh, all the upgrades. You could also just keep dying and grind in one level. Because that works, I guess. Seems to. Yeah. So, so far it's just that, the same. Couple of enemies, but we're doing the same thing. Uh, I think I'll go to one thing, one uh, kind of puzzle. I'm gonna show it to you. It will even make it to the place where you can move around using a map, and I will I will show you the upgrade system. Mm, I guess here you don't die; you can just drop the, down. Sometimes you die because there is the abyss and just fall down. Oh yes, that's that's the move. Down an L. Yeah, like this. Then you have to kill this guy and shoot at this, which is not explained. I don't think it is. Yeah, it is explained. Actually, there's uh, the info. You can shoot at it, shoot at the rat, and then it blows. All right. This one I don't get, but I think you just move to a specific area here, and that's the shop, right? So here's the shop. You can get uh, additional weapons, kinda or powers. There is three of them, and then you have additional upgrades for energy and health, which in my case is full. We have six, not four. And then uh, we have the X dash, right? So this is the uh, damaging dash, I to dash, by the way. Let's see how it works. I to dash. Yeah, you can just move past something. And also you have a map like this. So I guess we're here with the I. So this is probably the uh, map. I'm not sure what's the FTS. No, no idea. We can just drop down and we'll see where we will end up. Uh, yeah, we will, we are here. I would have to go right somehow, which I might try. I have no idea, by the way, how to do that. Not sure if I was able to grind here. I think I stopped here at this level. Something like that on the other uh, save. Yeah, not sure what you do with these. They will probably kill me. Defeat the T boss to gain this ability. Probably I don't have the ability, right? What does it mean, really? I don't have the ability. What, what ability? Maybe I will be able to face through it. Uh, yeah, T would be the boss on the map, right? So I have to go there. How do I go past it? Can I jump there? No, I don't think so. Can I jump here? No. Uh, where was the rush? The rush was I. No, it kills me. And I'm not sure if... Let's, let's just die. Let's see what happens with the points. Uh, it's... 3,326, if I die, 
what oh, I, lo I lose it kind of got 100 and I lost it very weird right let's try to go left maybe I have to go back because I didn't go yet there how do you jump here maybe like this right I don't seem to be able to jump there for some reason can I just wall jump no seems that if you drop here it's over how am I supposed to do it you can teleport okay let's teleport let's teleport yeah I'm back all right can I jump there yes let's see the left side where are we uh, maybe that's the way to do one of the bosses it's possible I don't want to go too far to be honest I think that would be enough maybe maybe we'll go one more level if I can make it just to see what's there yeah to jump over it again probably yeah I kind of made it but yeah I have full uh, HP again it seems like you, you can progress uh, from level to level and then you can actually uh, how am I supposed to do it maybe wall jump here yeah kinda maybe yes I can progress like this so now I'm in the other area if I drop down where should I go now I should go right get the green essence one health bar yeah kinda works now what is this a boss yeah it's a boss actually alright not very powerful yeah it seems like I'm doing some damage not sure if I can do it. Let's try to do it like this. And is she taking damage even? Yeah, she is. Kinda. I'm very dead now. I'm afraid. Yeah, I would have to uh, very well avoid the attacks or ha get some upgrades, which won't happen. I'm dead, of course. Let's try it again. We can regain some health. I guess destroys them. No, I took some damage. How much can I do? Not not enough. I'm afraid. I can heal twice. Kind of. This was the window of opportunity to do more damage to her, like this when she just stands there. But it wasn't enough. Let's see. Try it again. She's gonna shoot, right? I should jump over it probably. Maybe do some damage in the meantime. Kinda, that was okay. What's she doing? I'm not sure about it. Keep shooting? Yeah, now, 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 now maybe I should shoot. I could drop down. Maybe now we heal. Let's try to heal. And this missed me. Now we can do the same. The crazy attack. I'm dead. I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm dead. But it was closer. I'm gonna try once again and I'm gonna stop probably. Right, attack. Uh, it's very annoying if you have to learn the moves. I don't like it. I would prefer to just level up, which I probably should. I mean, I'm not sure if I can level up much. I could get a, maybe a weapon, which could be better or not. Yeah, now let's escape. I don't know why she's doing so much damage to me. Um, this could give me two. I can't kill her yet. Not that quickly. She's gonna do some damage. I'm dead. Yeah, of course. Ah, the patterns, the patterns. Of course, I have to learn the pattern. There's no other way. Kinda like this. No. I should have now done the quick move that was stupid but now she's taking damage kinda not really have to heal of course but I didn't yeah I messed up it's quite annoying really it's kinda like Hollow Knight but you have less options I mean, maybe you can have the upgrades but it's not like I can have a build or anything like it she's probably just doing too much damage at the end like now I should 
Yeah, that was a bad kinda. Yeah, if she's shooting up, then I can attack from the bottom, kinda. It wasn't the worst. Now I can do it. No. It was again stupid. Have to heal now. No, I didn't. Ah, it's bad. What if I could just slash her? Can I slash her? No. It's not gonna do much. I can't destroy those, I guess. Probably not. How much I take? Two, two hits. I took two hits now. Now I took all of it. I should be now crouching. That was stupid. Because I took all the damage. Like this? No. Is it like this? She's not taking damage. Maybe now. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I got something. What did I get? I have 6,000. And I got something. Oh, it's another one. Spread. Uh, let's buy it. Let's see one upgrade. I bought it. And now I have it. Two. What does it mean? Oh, this is powerful. Cool. Alright. I hope it's powerful. I don't know. Let's see if the boss is dead. Uh, seems to be. So, we, maybe we got the power. I'm not sure we got the power. But I have a better um, damaging skill now. Can we, can we now teleport? Yeah, we can switch points. But it's the F boss, it's not the other one. It's not the T boss. How do you how do you move to the other one? Maybe I messed up. I want to teleport to the other one. S. Can't go to S. It's just blinking. Can't see yeah, now it now it changed. It's changing. Can I go can I go with the mouse? No, I don't have a mouse. How does it work? No, doesn't seem to work. Maybe now I can move. Right, I can move now. Right, let's go down uh, for a moment. So I have what? I have this spread. Is it is it stronger? I don't think it's stronger. Probably not. Could be even much weaker. Okay, let's attack. I'm not sure about this ball, what it's doing. That would probably kill me. Yeah, I can go there actually. That's cool. I can't jump, of course. I don't have the better jump. What is this? No idea. Ah, it's killing me. Okay. Probably I need the power of, or something for this. Because so I don't seem to be able to jump here. Maybe I can, no, I don't know. I seriously have no idea. Maybe that's one of those powers I can use, but I don't know how. Uh, Alright guys, I'm gonna stop here. I have no idea what power I need for this. So, this is roughly the game. Uh, very much like Metroidvania. Uh, let's just go back. I'm gonna spend it. Let's see how much we have. Should be 1.7 thousand, I guess. I think it was saved. No, it's, ah, it's more. Probably it's more. Okay, let's just get a couple of them. Should I, maybe I will do the second one. Okay, one is the normal one. Now it is the unlock. Right. I'm not gonna do the last one because of the YouTube, right? Okay, guys. So that would be it uh, for the presentation. And now the score. Um, I definitely don't like the fact that it's one of those games that are black in OBS. I don't know why it happens. It happens with many games. Probably it happens with games done in some specific game make maker engine. Um, so I'm recording in window. Uh, when it comes to options, uh, I would like to have sliders, of course, for sound and music. Uh, instead of sliders, we have only on and off. Same for resolution. I would like uh, resolution, not just uh, window mode, but at least it's there. At least we have an option to do it in window mode or not. But I would prefer a full resolution. Language is, is okay. I, I'm okay with English completely. So that's that's cool. It's nice that you can skip dialogue. Uh, customize uh, keyboard. Well, that's all you need really. It, it tells you everything uh, while you play the tutorial, so that's okay. Uh, you can change the buttons if you have to, but uh, you will also learn the buttons when playing the tutorial, so that's quite neatly done. 
you can remap keys, so that's good. Um, the game itself, it's definitely idle, uh, well, idle, indie, right? Indie in the budget, I wanted to say. At the same time, mm, some games are okay with bad graphics. Uh, when it comes to Metroidvania, some of them are ugly and they are still playable, like this Uzurber game. But some are pretty, like Hollow Knight, for instance. So I would definitely prefer better graphics rather than worse. But I've seen worse. Uh, I would say that the game is quite clear when it comes to what's going on and uh, about enemy patterns, about the traps. Uh, it's well presented, but it's not pretty. Uh, but yeah, it displays all the information you, you need, so that, that's quite neat. It's actually slightly better than you uh, might think, because the game is cheap from what I know, and it lands on sales quite often. It looks kinda like an asset flip, but it, it isn't really. It's actually a pretty okay Metroidvania, if you like, uh, I would say default Metroidvanias as a genre. Because I prefer those that are highly connected to Dark Souls, to Souls games, uh, with much more character customization, power, skills, gear and perks uh, like Hollow Knight, like uh, Dead's Gambit, like Salt and Sanctuary, those are okay for me. I like those. But I don't necessarily like platformers or metroidvanias as a genre. So if you do, if you don't need uh, complex in-depth mechanics and customization, then it should be okay for you as a budget metroidvania. But if you want complexity, uh, complexity, then not really, because you just have six upgrades in the, in the game, right? And like maybe some Metroidvania powers, but that's normal for Metroidvanias. Yes, there is bosses, there is uh, some enemies. I'm not sure how many, but there is some variety of enemies. Uh, you don't really grind much. You don't really get much. You get some powers from bosses, I guess. I'm not sure what I got from the boss, but apparently I got something. I killed one boss, I'm not sure what it g gave me, so it would be nice to have some information, like what did I get for killing the boss. Some inventory, right? If I had inventory and I would have a new power in a slot, I would know what's going on. Uh, now I don't. All I can do is grind points and get the upgrades, which might be good or not. Uh, it's good that those upgrades exist in the game, but there's not many of them. There's like two or three weapons, uh, which is just a default way you attack. And then you have um, upgrades to well, to your your move, to your dash, and to your um, energy. I guess I'm not sure what's the point of energy, but you have the other uh, bar aside from HP. So you have HP and the other ones. So you can upgrade them. You can also play on easy and have uh, health already upgraded. So there isn't really much to unlock. Even a very basic. Um, game, uh, kind of Dead's Gambit wasn't a very uh, complex game, didn't really have all that many weapons, but it still had more, uh, you know, Salt and Sanctuary has, a, has much more, Usurper Usurp had more, Dead's Gambit was kind of dumped down, but it still had at least some stuff, uh, variety of weapons, variety of powers, some auras that were giving you passive uh, modifiers, here not really. So, um, can I recommend it? Uh, I would say this, if you really want Metroidvanias as a genre, then this one is playable. It's more a platformer, a logic uh, puzzle platformer than a Metroidvania, but it is a Metroidvania to some extent. Uh, it is responsive and playable, quite, uh, but you must be within that genre, you must like this particular genre. Personally, I would rather just play one of the other games I mentioned when you can actually level up and have a proper build uh, because I'm not really interested in this genre as such uh, but I know that some people will like just that some people play only platformers with no customization, no upgrades so this is like halfway between the two it's not super simple and super basic uh, mechanically of course uh, but it's also not a very complex game it's not like uh, you know, there are some games that are really cheap, but they are complex. Like, uh, yeah, let's say Usurper, right? It's, it's indie, it's, it's budget, but it's actually it's in-depth as well. It's big, it's, it has many bosses and stuff. Uh, this one, not really. I mean, it is quite big, there's quite many levels in that sense, but it's not very in-depth. 
which is always a problem for me. It's it's kind of trying to be, but it's far away to actually have a you know a class system or or gear system. There's nothing like that, which is sad because it would definitely help the game. Um, so I would say this, uh, slight recommendation if you w like this particular genre, but you must be aware what you're getting. So do some research or check my gameplay or maybe look uh, also on Steam and on some uh, maybe guides, maybe other videos. Just make sure what you're getting, because this is not like Swanson's Actuary. This is less, right? But it's more than some really budget games, some really bad games. It's like midway, I would say with kind of budget graphics as well. Uh, I would give it 5. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually doing something above average. Um, I would say it's kind of dumbed down. At the same time it has this gallery with, well, the pictures are not the best. It's not like Sakura quality. It's, it's kind of like those hentai games which are now flooding Steam. But at the same time it has proper mechanics and proper um, I would say it works within a genre, right? It's it's a game that uh, if you want another Metroidvania, another platformer, yes, it's one of those, right? So to some extent, it's doing what it should do. Uh, graphics are kind of downgraded, but at the same time, the character is rather big and it's very well uh, responsive, and you know what's going on. It's not like pixel art. Well, it is to some extent, but it's not like this super basic pixel art when it's hard to figure out what's what. This one is more clear I would say. At the same time this interlaced graphics or whatever that is, this pixelated, even the background, right? It looks weird. I, I think it would be just much better if it was like uh, full quality, uh, you know, no no lines, no strange crosses, just you know, actual picture. Uh, that would be pretty. Uh, the same thing, just normal, without this uh, kind of pixelated, uh, I don't know what it is, it's filter or what. It kind of it's kind of feels budget and downgraded for some reason, and it's not helping the game. I know it's the same engine probably that the previous game. Maybe that's what you can do on that engine, but I would just prefer if the game was higher quality. Uh, no, and of course, uh, when we think about quantity. Um, I would prefer it to be more in depth. Uh, I mean, everything that's in the game should stay plus more. Like there should be classes, there should be powers, there should be like 20 upgrades, different ones. Uh, the size could stay, right? Maybe more bosses because if there's only three bosses, I'm not sure how many there are, but judging by the letters, there is only three bosses. Uh, those games should have at least 10 bosses, up to 20 or more, uh, to be good. So there is a long way for for this to to just be considered a proper long, uh, you know, campaign, a long game. I mean, I killed first boss in a review, so that's kind of not much. Those levels you can really breeze through them. If you're fast at this, if you can speed run, you will probably very quickly burn through the game. Uh, but still, there is some uh, substance in it. So uh, I would give it five uh, out of ten. That was May Troid. I swear it's a nice game too. Yeah, I can agree it's quite nice, but it's not like super awesome. It's slightly more than what meets the eye. And if you really like the genre, you can add some points to the uh, score. You can say it's 6 or 7. I would agree, probably, if you like those games. For me, it's average. It's not annoying to test or play, but it's also not something I would play. You know, I would maybe grind a bit to unlock the gallery and maybe, I don't know, go left and right and check some other areas. But it's more, it's more annoying, to be honest. I'm not into those puzzles that I don't understand where I have to, like, kill a boss that that's on the other side of the map and I, I don't know how to get there and if I can get there. Uh, for instance, the jump. I don't know if I should be able to jump higher or maybe I can already because I killed the boss, but I don't know how to activate it. Or maybe I'm completely thinking the wrong way and I would be just walking circles, which happens. That's also a problem for me in those games. When I played Hollow Knight, I was walking circles for five hours once. And then I just used Vicky. So I don't want, like being lost. The combat's not that hard, you know. You can progress. You can even kill bosses without upgrades. But you can get lost. You can be just confused. And it's not very pretty to just experience the gameplay. 
like, like in Hollow Knight, where you know the environment was pretty. Here, not really, and of course, there's less to upgrade and less to get. Right. So, end of the rant, end of the review. Uh, I would say it's average. Um, slight recommendation for fans of the genre. And I'm finishing here. So that was Metroid. I swear it's a nice game too. Five out of ten. And I will see you guys in the next review. And please, next time, make it so that I can normally record it on OBS without using the window mode because it's super annoying. All right, guys. So see you next time.